What's happening, everybody? It's Peter from Road to Wrap here at Reef of Palooza Orlando 2022. I'm bringing you guys the first rap exclusive show tour. We're gonna walk the floor, we're gonna see some cool things, we're gonna talk to some cool people, we're gonna see equipment, corals, fish, vendors, you name it, to the largest saltwater show in the world, Reef of Palooza. Let's go inside and see what's going on. All right, everybody, here we go. We're coming in through the front door. One of our first sponsors that we see right here is Reef Nutrition. However, we'll come back to them because we're gonna do the whole show. You've probably seen plenty of videos where people are doing individual interviews at individual booths. Well, with me, you get to take a walk with me. So come on, let's go check out the first show. So coming in, we first catch the WWC service van here. You could definitely uh, imagine this rolling up to your house, maintaining your big, beautiful tank. If you live down here, maybe have some big, like five, 600 gallon, beautiful thing going on. See these guys pull up and take care of that every day. Just cool stuff to see them. Cool stuff to see WWC. They're local here. If you don't know WWC and you're coming to a reef of Palooza in the future, make some time to your trip to go over and check out their shop. Amazing, amazing, amazing superstore shop for the hobby. So eShops, Manufacturer of all kinds of different things. You can see the equipment here up on their table. They got sumps, they got frag racks, they got overflow skimmers. But the biggest thing I want to talk about is this guy right here. This is being released today at this show. This, or not today, but this weekend at this show. This is their new desktop tank. It's called the Deskmate. It is um, an all-in-one tank and the only tank on the market that can actually house a full-size, well, their full-size skimmer. So. Um, you can see it's running here. We got a saltwater setup. You can see the skimmer running in here that can be mounted in both directions, chamber for your heater. Just such a cool, cool, cool little thing. And then, yeah, here's the media rack. That guy drops right in there on the side, so you could do all kinds of different media. You could do your Kemi Pure in there. You could do carbon. You could do uh, some filter floss in there. So just super, super cool. You're going to get the tank, the sock, and the light and the pump as a package. Skimmer is separately. Price point's under 200 for the tank. 159 price point for the tank setup without the skimmer. Definitely, definitely one of the first all-in-one micro tanks I've ever seen that I would actually put on my desk because you can maintain it. You're not gonna be chasing all these little parameters. You have actual real full-size equipment in here. So cool, cool stuff. Make sure you check that out with eShops. Big thanks to these guys for all the raffle items that they put in as the official raffle sponsor. So, AD, thank you, good seeing you. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time at the coral vendors because you're gonna see uh, so many of them. We're just gonna walk by oceansdirect.com. You can see all their beautiful stuff here. Our good friends at CJ here, having all the pumps, best industry in the game. Most of their pumps come in with over a three-year warranty. Um, if you want a pump, they are the Ferrari of pumps. Made in Italy, family-owned company. Some of the best people in the industry here on the East Coast representing them. And then in the booth with them today as well, we have Clearwater Scrubbers is over here with uh, some new products that they have too, that they're powering with CJ pumps. Oh, here it is. It blends in so well, Josh. So they've removed all the plumbing from these this is now actually an integrated flow with a bottom drain water comes up and through a channel and a tray here very 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 unique innovative design josh can i show it so, so if you can come in and, and check from yeah, so you can see the filter itself has two tabs in it to hold it and then it has the tray the whole tray comes out whole tray, whole tray, comes, out. Whole tray comes out which is something very different for these guys and you don't have to shut it off no shut off, you can let it run like that. You can see the water's overflowing. But this now allows for a nice even flow of water and a nice stream over top of the screen. All right, so we're moving through here. We got San Francisco Bay Brands. What's up guys, all kinds of food. Anything you need to make that perfect gourmet meal for your tank, you can find here through these guys and come together. What do you guys recommend? Do you recommend 
um, mixing up your food, keeping the fish guessing, or do you you is, is your food nutrient dense enough that you say no? But you can just go with no, one, I and it's like going to keep it. Keep blending. Keep blending things it. In there. All right. Keep so. it fresh and, yeah. and unique. All right. Keep it fresh and unique. Right here. You heard it from the source. So big shout out to these guys. Check out their stuff Thank for you. sure. Thanks, guys. Thank Have a good day. All right. Now we're going to get down into some of the fire booths here. We got unlimited core, unlimited color corals massive massive and we got all kinds of people around so we can't get in too tight but just to give you guys an idea of the fire that is brought to these shows look at the size of these tanks look at the stuff that's for sale this is the place to come this is the show you want to see the fire you have some dream coral in mind you want to come to reef of palooza orlando because it will be here Got some Kessel lights here. I don't need to talk too much about them because you know everybody knows who Kessel is. So, uh, but yeah, we can see their beautiful lights up there. We can see they got their uh, different um, director cup. What, what are you guys calling them? Reflectors? Reflector cups, right? Yeah, the reflectors on it to point the light in the new Kessel. Those are the A80X. No, A500X. Too many letters and acronyms. So I try, I try. But so you can see the lights here. They're here. Beautiful stuff. And this is another thing that's really unique. If you've never been to one of these shows. Everybody has these tanks and you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, wow, I want a tank at home and, you know, it's such a big deal. These are set up Friday afternoon and broken down Sunday night. Everything in here is healthy, happy, fine. All these tanks we're going to show you guys today are, are set up like that. So granted, people that are setting them up know what they're doing, but this should tell you that if I can get a tank looking, you know, and this tank is minimally scaped, but the coral is all happy and how if I can do that in a couple days, if you take the time to be methodical, you can have a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous tank with not a ton of effort. Don't be scared of salt water, seriously. If you're a freshwater person and you want to try it, you can get help. You come to this show, because this show is all about community too. You can get the help you're looking for. Learn about equipment, learn about maintenance, learn about parameters and health of the animals. This is the place to come to ask manufacturers questions and everybody will be so friendly and awesome to you just a community experience something that's really unique to this hobby for sure it's coming down we got the huge table from frost corals frost travels the whole country we always see him at every show always has this massive double boost set up with all these tanks so much stuff hi how are you look look at these meats look at that guy i mean i don't know if you guys are picking up the color because i think we're not filtering too well but i mean there's my hand 375 and up, which is great, great prices for those things. I, I just love those corals. I always want to squeeze them, although, you know, don't touch them. If you're new, don't touch them, but they look so squeezable. Dirk, Dirk is another fixture you'll see. If you go to a coral show, you're going to see Dirk's there. He always is, is here with massive amount of equipment, deals to be had. If you need something for your tank, your maintenance, a chemical, a piece of equipment, you'll find it at Dirk's booth for sure. And, and you see Dirk everywhere. He travels the country with this whole big, I, Dirk's probably the person I envy the least when it comes to setup and breakdown, so. <laughs> Massive amounts of equipment. All right, so we're going to keep walking through, and we'll kind of jump in and out here, too, because we got end caps as well. So we're coming into Dr. Tim's Aquatics here. We'll grab this end cap. And one of the things that Dr. Tim is showing here, too, at this is his reptile systems. So they're working with a company out of France that is providing reptile systems, lighting. Uh, they're going to be getting some pumps and some other items. Super, super cool stuff. Now, you may ask yourself, why are we looking at reptile systems at the world's largest saltwater aquarium show? Well, if you've never had an aquarium, it's very addictive. Once you get into one level of aquatic, whether it's fresh, salt, or reptiles, you typically want to expand and have all these cool things. So that's why you'll see a lot of crossover. And we're going to see more reptile stuff from some of our other major saltwater companies. All right, we're coming into Red Sea. So I know you guys got some detailed videos of this stuff, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time here. But there's a couple things I wanted to show you that are very cool. First of all, the all-new reef mat. Roller mats have been around it for a while. I won't run a tank without them. one of them. They make maintenance so much easier. No more filter socks, no more cleanup, no more mess. Really, really the first unique design to come out in a while that makes changing these felt mats quick, fast, and easy. Because that is, in my opinion, the only downside to these is once a month, you have to take the whole thing down. Red Sea really came up, thought about that problem, came up with an innovative way to take this all out, change your mats, and two and a half or three minutes, so they say. Um, I watched a demo and I agree that it probably is. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. This is Coral Morphologic. So 
if you go on YouTube and search them, you are going to find some of the most coolest artistic videos you've ever seen. Um, up close macro videos of corals, feeding responses, overlaid with very cool music, kind of put together with this whole setting of music made specifically for corals and stuff. So while it's easy just to walk by, I mean, corals are gorgeous, but you know, the tank's kind of, you could easily miss these guys and not realize you just passed Coral Morphologic, one of the wildest YouTubes for reefers ever, video production. So kudos to you guys. So stop and check out their corals. The corals you see in the videos are the corals that they do, so in many cases. So you could own a famous coral, maybe, maybe. Stop and talking to these guys. All right, we're gonna keep moving down. Pop corals here, I'm another coral vendor. Uh, these guys bring us something a little different. They got some uh, cool feather duster worms, some clams and stuff in there. You see everything here. If it's in the hobby, you see it here for sure. So again, absolute crazy place for corals and fire and everything else. Coming down the aisle a little, Polyp Labs here. Phil from Polyp. Phil, how you doing? doing Good fine. to see you. Good to see you as well. The whole suite of products. Polyp Labs known, probably hands down, famously for their coral food and now a whole line of products, glues, um, different kinds of foods you've moved out into, your, like reefroids and everything else. These are the kind of products you're gonna want. You're gonna want something to dip those corals in to get any creepy crawlies off of them before you put them into your tank. So remember that, stop by, say hi to Phil, get some products. You won't regret it. Polyp Labs, Thanks, my one of the big players in the industry. Over here to my right, your left, Reef Nutrition, one of our big sponsors here, and probably one of the most popular booths at the show. And why is it one of the most popular booths? Because all these lovely products you see here, the gentleman over there, Chad, gives them away for free. So there's usually a line out the door. He must be running low on supplies, and that's why nobody's here currently. But this is the stuff. So, oh yeah, I probably should tell you what the stuff is. So we got all kinds of different, these are different kinds of fish foods. We have bron um, mysis shrimp, apex pods. These are gonna be your different fish foods and your different supplements to kind of build out that ecosystem um, and get a good pod population going on. If you watch Road to Wrap Live with Hillary, who is here from Reef Nutrition, she's not at the booth right now, she talked all about when, why, and how you wanna add pods and how you can use them. So definitely go back and check that out with her. You won't regret it. All right, so we're gonna move in now. You saw the WWC van. On this side of the thing, we're gonna see WWC's fish area. So when you think WWC, you think corals, worldwide corals. Well, lo and behold, surprise, surprise, they also have amazing fish. This guy right here, this is called a koi tang, and he looks very similar to the koi tang I have. Amazing, amazing stuff here to see. Uh, definitely, if you're coming in to the show, stop by, and again, if you're in the area, do yourself the favor and go by the Superstore, the WWC Superstore, and check it out. It is a game-changing store that is just so, so amazing. Riptide Aquaculture, another amazing coral vendor here. Tables and tables, again, you're gonna start seeing all the corals. We're gonna move a little quicker on them because they're just all amazing corals. Over here, zoanthids.com. They're another staple you see at all these shows. Amazing, amazing stuff. I believe they're actually gonna be up in New Jersey at a show I'm uh, helping host with here in, in just a week or so, end of April. So if you're in the New Jersey area, come out. Ringtail Exotics, more amazing corals. What's up guys, how you doing? You know, one of the fun things too that you guys are gonna get when you come to these shows is all the cool names of all the people that come. Ringtail, we have uh, Trash Panda I think is another one. We, you just gotta, I love the names you guys come up with, so. Moving on down, one of the famous signature corals people, Jason Fox here with his signature corals. Uh, inevitably, if you've been in this industry any amount of time, you know the name for sure. Uh, one of the people that kind of revolutionized taking pictures of coral to show like the amazing stuff that they do. So this man How you doing? right here. So kudos to you. So you never, you'll, there'll be pieces of coral. Maybe you'll never come to a show. Maybe you'll never see Jason Fox's booth but you'll be at a swap or something and somebody will be like, oh yeah, I got this Jason Fox, you know, whatever coral. The man is, has, is such an OG in the industry. Corals are literally named after him. So definitely check him out when you come to these shows. So absolutely. CoralReefConnection.com. Hi, how you guys doing? Again, more amazing corals.
Coming through, cutting through the middle here, we got the other side of Dr. Tim's booth. This is some of the stuff we were talking about, some of his bacteria, his supplements, uh, food, all kinds of things that go on, test kits now that they're doing. Uh, Dr. Tim really expanding their lines. These things are super cool. I love these guys up here. They're like your salt and pepper shakers, but they have freeze dried. Um, these are shrimp. I know they have brine shrimp and stuff. This thing was garlic. But you, you take them just like a salt and pepper grinder and you grind into your tank. Um, and it's just super, super cool to, to see those things and have that kind of thing. PV Reefs, another amazing coral vendor. Meat corals seem to be like the hot item, man. Look at these guys. Oh my God. Look, again, there's my hand. The meat corals are just so exciting to see and they've really kind of blown up and been super popular in the hobby. So, so cool to see this stuff. Reefprostore.com. See all their stuff here. They got some fire, they got some media, some products. Definitely check them out. Reef Pro on Instagram and Facebook, it appears. So, corals, getting into some of the sticks, the hard corals. Super cool videos. Look at these tanks and these videos and stuff. Uh, unbelievable. SPS food, LPS food. AB system stuff, Cardinal Aquariums, more corals, 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 all the corals you can imagine, all the deals you can have, macroalgae, container tanks, so these are super cool, I'm going to sneak in front of you, I'm going to grab one of them. So you might say, oh, I'm going to come into the show for vacation, okay, I'm going to fly in, well, I can't buy anything, right? No. They make these super cool little containers in all different sizes, all right? And these are the, these are the Zen Reef ones, so zenreef.com. You can put three frags in here, put water in here, and take that right through TSA. A little more knowledge you should know because TSA can ask some questions, so there are some paperwork and stuff out there, but super cool stuff like this. Awesome to see Cardinal Aquariums carrying it, helping to sell their coral, but then also people to get them home. So that's the, the smart stuff to make a sale to no matter who it is. So I got to fly. Oh, you got to fly? Well, hey, I can sell you something you extra. Go, no so big shout out to those guys. Awesome stuff. All right, coming in here, Geo Reef. So one of the big things that's happening in the hobby lately is called display sump equipment. Utilizing all kinds of interesting new designs uh, for maintenance. You can see everything on, on these is all uh, CNC cut, whole lids rotate, come off, nice clear finish. <laughs> Expensive ball valves, no cheap valves or anything. Really, really good stuff. But their sumps are what really are impressive. A lot of their sumps, roller mats, we talked a little bit before when we went through Red Sea. Roller mats are, are huge in this industry now. Geo Reefs was one of the first people to embrace that and then start offering the Clarice roller mat built right into their sump. When it comes to sumps, you have a lot of different options, customization chambers, ports, uh, dosing ports, um, probe ports, roller mats. Import, in and out for your drains and your returns. Just super, super cool stuff, different sizes, but you can imagine having the doors opened on your tank and having this just be as impressive as the display. Maybe do some cool macro algae in here or something for filtration, but really have it be a display piece. Just love, love, love their stuff. They do so, so well. All their stuff is beautiful. Love seeing them here. Across away from them is Joe's Notes Reef, another Another big favor that shows up to a lot of these shows, all kinds of coral. Again, we're gonna start moving a little quicker um, unless there's some big signature piece. Uh, Unrivaled Reefs, another coral vendor here. What's up guys, how you doing? Some more beautiful fire here. What do we got in here? Pods? Uh, this is actually where we fill the bags from. Oh, is that your, oh, you're trying, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we keep a heater in there and a pump in there. Very cool. There, so all right, oh, so that's just a, a thing on a cooler? It's an igloo, yep. Yeah, well, oh, there you go. Another cool invention. Reefers are so, so inventive with how they make this hobby work. All right, so we talked a little bit about over with Dr. T uh, Tim's reptile stuff. Ecotech, who inevitably, if you've been in this industry any amount of time, you know who Ecotech is. Well, Ecotech has just launched a new line called Leap. Leap is reptiles again. Really cool cages, lights, things um, that you can utilize. A lot of people in the hobby love to use these kind of as paludarium, so they'll put water and some fish in the bottom. This isn't specifically a paludarium tank, but they include the stuff with it to make the bottom watertight. If you wanted to do some freshwater fish and then some reptiles up here, you absolutely could. Just really cool to see these high-end companies in the saltwater industry kind of taking the next step to go into reptiles and fresh and other things. And uh, Ecotech and AI have been that company. 
You know, they went into freshwater lights, uh, freshwater uh, pumps and stuff. Now they're moving into reptile, really bringing high-end quality to all these different areas. So if you don't know, they're known for dosers, pumps, lights, uh, wave controllers, trying to think of everything else that they have. Um, but hands down, they're probably best known for their lights. The Ecotech Radions are one of the premier lights in this industry. The new G5s are amazing. Um, just a game changer light, so, so beautiful. And then you have AI lights, which is probably one of the most popular nano sized lights. They're AI Prime lights. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing price point. So cool to you know, see them constantly. And then now all that stuff can be controlled through their new control app, their Mobius app, which is uh, something that came out in the last year or so. It's been beta for a while, but now it's a new whole control, reef control system and an app. All their products can be control controlled. It can be interfaced with other things. So super, super cool to see. Love seeing Ecotech and all the guys here. Beautiful booth. Added in all kinds of new TVs and stuff. Over here, Top Shelf Aquatics, another big name in Florida corals. This is their uh, hardware side. So this is the booth where they have all kinds of their lights and pumps and all the stuff that they sell. Super cool stuff, super cool company. Amazing corals too, but you can buy hardware from them as well. We'll see them again when we get to their coral booths for sure. No, oh, no problem, bud. And then last in this row, we got Cali Kid Corals. Another amazing coral vendor here. Again, with the meat corals that we're seeing everywhere, they've just become so popular the last couple of years. And, and I mean, you can just look at them and tell why. Unbelievable stuff. So you know, look, look at the size of these torches. You know, again, there's my hand. Just huge heads of torches and stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Over to my right and your left, saltwateraquarium.com. Uh, one of the biggest online vendors in the world, as well as coming out to all these shows at their booth. This is how big they are. Donna from ORA is at the booth here, actually selling ORA fish and corals from their booth. So, so cool to see partnerships like this happen in the industry. Uh, ORA on the cutting edge of aquaculture in this industry, which is becoming ever more important with new legislation and everything being announced. Companies like ORA, people like Donna, really, really keeping things going for us. Companies like saltwateraquarium.com, working with ORA and stuff really doing things to help this industry stay as vibrant, as free, as usable as it can be. So just super, super cool stuff. Mag floats, racks. This is kind of cool because we're shooting on a camera. If you don't have one of these guys, they're super cool. It's a lens kit you can clip on your cell phone and then be able to take the cool UV pictures of your tank with your cell phone. So just cool stuff like that, that uh, is so fun to get and you always get good deals at these shows for that stuff too. So. All right, so something else that's become really big in this industry is art. And one of the people that is on the forefront of the art is Josh Pork Sandwich. Josh sells amazing corals, but Josh takes amazing macro photography and does these wild tin prints. The colors are insanely vibrant. The tin prints are amazing. I love these things. Uh, he has other stuff. You can see there's canvases, there's posters. That's Josh himself right there. So that's the other cool thing is you get to meet the people behind all these companies. Like, you're not just coming and seeing a salesperson, you're coming meeting the person that's taking those pictures, that's fragging these corals, ask questions, shake hands. I just can't express enough how cool the community aspect of these shows are. So be sure to come by and say hi. Aquarium Specialties, another hardware vendor, also uh, with corals and stuff here as well. Uh, another table full of stuff. We got uh, the Radeon lights. We got, I don't know what brand, the uh, Deltec maybe, uh, Ultra Reef Skimmer. Uh, saws, if you get really serious, you can get into a saw if you want to start cutting uh, hard corals. Uh, so super cool stuff. Again, show deals to be had all over at these places. Neptune Systems known famously for their controller systems and everything they have going on. Well, now they're in the light game. We, uh, last year, I believe, we, uh, the Skylight came out. Was it last year? Skylight, yeah. So last year at Reefapalooza, we, we talked about the Skylight when it was first released. It was the talk of the show. Beautiful lights, beautiful pictures, control systems. This is, uh, as you pan by here, this is the interface, uh, computer, phone, whatever. But you can see what's going on. You can control your pumps. You can test your parameters. You can see what your flow is. You can see your light settings. Just super cool, next level stuff. Do you need this stuff to run a tank? No. Does it make your tank more reliable and manageable for somebody that's on the go? Absolutely. Highly recommend it. Not needed if you're a newbie, but at some point make a part of your goal to get to a controllable system. You will not regret it. All right, ExoticReefs.com, another coral vendor over there. Oh, big triple setup, triple table setup coming down. 
So I want you to see their corals, but I also want you to see this. This is what you get at these shows, especially if you go both days. This was five, but now it's six for a hundred. Deals are to be had all day at these shows. Don't be afraid to talk, don't be afraid to bundle. But if you're here on Sunday, these guys don't wanna take this stuff home. You're liable to get uh, a pretty good deal if you're willing to wait it out to the end, so. We got Dr. Fraggett over here on the end cap, aquaculture specialist, uh, more beautiful stuff. You can see this is, this is kind of unique. You'll see it other places a little bit but uh, mangroves. You see a lot of mangroves for sale down here, especially uh, the mangroves that Julian Sprung does from Two Little Fishies. Um, something that, that, again, you'll see them and you can get them, but that's very unique to Florida that a lot of people will have mangroves. Very, very cool to add to your tank for filtration and other things like that. Put them in your sump or do a cool shallow uh, reef tank and have them sticking up out of like the middle of the tank. Very, very cool way to, dis um, to display mangroves and then have them also be a part of your filtration. Coral Bargain Warehouse. Gentlemen, good to see you. As always. As always, indeed. Uh, where are we down here now? Speed Reefer, more coral vendors here. Like, what are we at? We're on row three. Pirates Reefs Coral, another awesome one that we see at all these shows here. So, I mean, we've probably seen 20 plus vendors and we're only halfway through the show, 30 maybe at this point. More coral, Blue Seas Aquariums here. Again, a whole tank full of those meat corals, those big, beautiful guys. It's corals, corals, corals. Cannot tell you, if you want a coral, it's likely that you're going to find it here and probably get a good deal on it. All right, we're gonna work our way through the crowd here. More coral vendors, so. Here we go, uh, subculture? Yep, subculture corals. What's up? Yep, we got them here. Coral, look, so this is super cool. So excuse me, sir. Look at this. Coral photos in an hour. Drop off your coral, have them photographed, and then get pictures. That is the coolest thing I've seen, and that, I've never seen that at a show before. Super cool, guys. Very, very cool stuff. So more coral vendors, bio reef down here. Got some more stuff in their tank. <clears throat> All right, coming around to the end cap here. GHL. We talked a little bit about Neptune systems and controllers. Well, GHL is the other big player in this controller industry. Super cool stuff. One of the coolest things that they have going on first in the industry is an ion uh, detector testing system. So uh, several companies have machines now that can test various different things, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, um, temperature, pH, all that stuff. GHL was the first to introduce an ion probe base tester. Uh, a lot of companies kind of were looking at that. GHL was the first one to actually come up with it, put it out. That tester will integrate with their dosers as well to not only test your parameters, but then dose appropriately with it. GHL offers a whole suite of lighting, um, cooling fans, other things going on. So super, super co cool company. Uh, definitely check them out. If you're looking at controllers trying to decide on controller solution, GHL is going to be one of them, especially when you're trying to decide on how you want to manage your parameters. If you're gonna be doing measuring automated testing, really start thinking about what you're looking for there. Do you want Ion Probe? What are the consumables like? Do you want the Neptune system? What are the consumables like there? What's the maintenance like? So definitely, definitely check them out. Yeah. These are super cool. I'm gonna go with that one. Little knitted funny, look at little knitted corals. Okay, they put pins on them so you can put it on yourself and stuff. Nudibranchs, hats, shark hats, bear. Just super, super cool, fun stuff. So this is a family event. Like you come here, bring your kids. The kids are wowed by all the colors and the fish and the life. But then you find these tables and get super cool things. Buy them a fun hat, get some cool artwork. You can see these are coral skeletons that have been painted with UV reactive paint make a cool display piece uh, at the house. They make super cool little Christmas ornaments too. Just, again, everything you can think of here. Magical Reef, these guys do custom frag plugs. Frag plugs is once you kind of get bigger into the hobby and you maybe you grow out your corals, you cut them up, you need to put them on something new. Well, these are what you put them on. Frag plugs, you got plates, discs, all kinds of cool stuff here. I'm assuming you guys do custom shapes, orders, and all that other stuff. So custom stuff out of Clyde, Ohio. If you need frag plugs or you want something cool for just your tank, reach out to the Magical Reef, see what they can do for you. Cool stuff. 
Reflex Corals, another coral vendor. These are kind of cool too. You might see these as we're passing around. These are tanks of different like phytoplanktons that are used to feed the tank or they um, use those to sell directly. They'll put those into a bottle and you'll buy it to um, dose your tank with. Those are live beings in there. It just looks like green water, but it is live stuff going on in those tanks. All right, here we are, row number four. On the end caps here, we already talked about saltwateraquarium.com, all the cool stuff they have going on. This is something new that I've seen now twice at this show that I love these giant touchscreen TV screens. Here's their website that we talked about, saltwateraquarium.com as a vendor. Anything you want, you get on there. But to have this screen now, so you come see and say, oh, I was really looking for the Reefer 652. Oh yeah, well, we, you know, obviously we don't have it a show, but come over here, we'll order it for you right now. We'll do it for you, we can give you 10% off at the show. 10% off at the show, Free see? Shipping. Free shipping. Oh, that's why you gotta come out to these things. This, this opens up our entire website for everybody to get the show discount price and we can offer everything without having to bring it here. For those that That's like, awesome. For those that like to carry stuff with them. Yeah. Still, still a ton of stuff. Us, but same great price, same service, free shipping. Love it. Yeah. Game changer right there. Absolutely. So first people to be bringing their whole business to the show and offering a discount through the whole website at the show. Awesome stuff, Ryan. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Brian. Good seeing you. All right, over here we got this is a super cool booth too. It's on an end cap. So this is Dell Tech, Jellyfish Art, and Chemi Pure. Chemi Pure, one of our sponsors here again. Dell Tech uh, making filtration perks. You can see there's a big, giant, gorgeous sump here. Again, to, whew, look at that thing. That's for a big tank. That's a big boy sump for a big boy tank. It has your water reservoir for your top off, it has your skimmer chamber with a lid that closes in on it to reduce evaporation, uh, inlets, out, or outlets, inlets roller mat just super super cool stuff a very cool textured waterproof finish <clears throat> just really really nice stuff for a big tank if you got a big tank and you want a big sum check it out dell tech makes beautiful beautiful equipment as we kind of come around the corner here you can see dell tech's got their roller mats featured they got their skimmers up on the shelf got some dosers down there i see as well all right, so now what you're seeing now, because I'm standing behind, I'm not on camera, but you guys are seeing the jellyfish art tanks. These guys are so, so cool. So these are tanks made exclusively to carry jellyfish. You get the tank, the tank has the LED lighting in it, has proper flow and shape. The key to jellyfish is you can't have hard corners. They need to be able to flow and move around in their natural manner. So that's why all these jellyfish tanks are cylinder tanks. You get, do you guys still include the voucher to get the jellyfish? So not only do you get the tank, Three jellyfish, so there you go. So you get the whole kit that you get with them, you get a voucher for three jellyfish, they order food, lighting. Sustainably aquaculture. Sustainably aquaculture too, yeah. So that's a key to say, a lot of stuff you're seeing here today, but especially the jellyfish. These are so cool. If you're working from home now, like so many people are, having one of these on your desk, I mean, you wanna talk about taking a day of stress down a notch. Super, super cool stuff. Last thing we'll show with you guys is Chemi Pure. Not much to show with Chemi Pure, but definitely Chemi Pure is, uh, they make several different uh, products. Chemi Clean is one of them for uh, cyanobacteria. Uh, their Chemi Pure blues and greens are multi-filter medias that are made in bags. So they're good for, really good for all-in-one tanks or for putting in your sump, things of that nature. Uh, the Vitachem formula, just really, really good stuff between filter media and supplements. Chemi Pure is the way to go. Always, always a player here at the show, always a sponsor. So love seeing them come out. Love seeing them partner with Jellyfish Art and Dell Tech. Some really, really good brands there. All right, so let's head down this column. All right, so we're sneaking by Saltwater Aquarium still. Kind of cool big tank there, all the ORA clownfish. Really cool harem of just miscellaneous clownfish, which is really, really cool. And then something that it, I'm seeing for the first time here is ORA fish on display and for sale, individual fish. Uh, ORA typically does not sell directly to the public, so they've partnered with saltwateraquarium.com to be able to offer their fish, their uh, corals and stuff to you guys direct to the public at these shows. Super, super cool to see. Now that we're over at the Hannah Instruments booth, Hannah Instruments has kind of taken the pain of testing and made it into a much more painless part of this hobby. They do it through having all these photo um, handheld um, testers. Uh, what do we have here? We got nitrates, calcium, copper, alkalinity, phosphate, pH, salinity, 
um, temperature. They have whole complete reefer kits that have everything you need in them. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Absolutely my go-to. No more looking at colors, trying to like see on a color wheel, is it this shade of red? And as somebody who is colorblind to greens and reds, I probably screwed up my tank more than once with those tests. No screwing this up. Gives you a number, you look at that parameter, good to go. Highly recommend you put some money aside if you're thinking about your first reef tank to go with some of this stuff right out of the box. Little more expensive, but honestly not that much more for the value you get and the convenience of how to test. So definitely, definitely check it. At a minimum, at a minimum, if you're a new reefer, you want to make sure you put aside saltwater alkalinity. Alkalinity is gonna be your number one parameter for just getting a quick look at the overall health of your tank, doing a daily, a quick daily alkalinity check just says, all right, I know my alkalinity is good, so it gives you an idea that your calcium, your pH, and everything else is kind of where it should be. So if nothing else, get that. You can get them at saltwateraquarium.com. Be sure, and if you were at the show, you could buy one and walk away here, but you could also order it with a discount on the website with the giant touchscreen. Who doesn't want to play with a giant touchscreen? I mean, that's what you're getting here. That's what your $25 ticket's getting you here. Good friends, Gingerbread Corals here, all the way out from Chicago area, coming down yet again, bringing their fire. Guys expanding crazy, if you pay attention to these guys. Just bought a warehouse, right? You guys got a whole warehouse? We're just blowing up. It's been cool. I've been a, a part of seeing these guys grow from very one of their very first shows in, in Chicago, and, and now seeing them here at all these events is just awesome. So if you see Gingerbread Corals at a show, definitely stop, check out. They bring amazing, beautiful corals. Coming down the way here, Smarter Reefs. First time I've seen you guys. Three patent pending products. So we got a, a two in one algae scrubber filter. That's the first time I've seen that. So uh, we'll be sure. I, I don't have a mic for you guys, so I'm not going to do a one on one, but we'll have somebody else if they haven't already. But just checking it out. Look at this. That's so cool. That looks like a roller mat, but it's a protein skimmer. So what? That, it's a utility patent pending uh, protein skimmer that cleans itself. But it gives uh, three to four months of hands free operation. All right, not sure if you guys picked that up through my mic or not, but this is not a roller mat per se, it's a protein skimmer. How what, how much operation did you say? Uh, three to four months of hands-free operation. Three to four months of hand-free operation. No skimmer cup or empty or clean. That's amazing. And then the algae scrubber filter roller built in, that's really unique too. Are you guys really, oh, and then, oh yeah, yeah. We've seen you, oh God, that's right. I saw you guys a few years ago. At, these are super cool. You fill these guys up with your food and whatever, and then you freeze them. Then you can take it out, and you have essentially a popsicle. You have a container you can put it in that sits in your tank. Yep, oh, there you go. And it time releases. As it melts, it feeds your fish. I love these things when I saw you guys there. So the man, the myth, the legend, award-winning aquaculturist right here, Dwayne Wards Aquatics, bringing us fire, traveling all over the country. Always at the show, fixture. And, and again, too, uh, a professional award-winning person in the industry. Not to mention one of the nicest guys you'll meet. And again, I talked about it before. That's Dwayne. That's, that's the name on this banner. Those corals were cut by him. You're coming and talking to the guy who grew these, who cut them, who fragged them, who knows them. You're not coming to a sales place and buying frags at a Walmart. You're meeting the people that are doing this. And that's one of the coolest things here. So good to see you, Dwayne. Thank you. Other side of Blue Seas Aquariums, we already saw them, just a long table again. They got some cool art. I'm sure that art's UV reactive too, some paintings in the back there. But again, just tables and tables and tables. Making our way across the aisle. Try not to crash into anybody. All right, Knockout Corals. Knockout Corals is so cool. They have these super cool things that they built. So they put their tables on. These are all on wheels. They can roll it around. They set up and break down shows super quick. Always awesome to see these guys. Always bringing the fire. And then always bringing the, just a super cool display setup. So. Again, more rock flowers. This is the super cool stuff that people are finding, you know, inventing and coming up with. So you can see this is layered effects of different corals, fish, and everything else in an overall large design. I'm assuming, yes, all UV reactive. Assuming you guys CNC cut all of these and paint them and everything. So just a really cool piece. You pick it, you hang it on the wall next to your display or around your sump. The lights from your tank pick up on it. But you see all kinds of stuff. 
Just really, really cool stuff. The art scene in this industry has just exploded over the last couple of years, and it's so cool to keep seeing people innovate and, uh, and build stuff. Like super cool clownfish. I love that clownfish down there. So just really cool stuff. So even if you're not into, you know, you're the spouse of somebody that's into the hobby, there's probably something that's gonna be here for you, something cool like this, somebody for you to talk and meet to. So just really, really cool stuff. So stop by, check out Knockout Corals if you're coming. Frag Freak, another, another vendor. Again, I can't express enough how many corals and frag vendors there are here. Coming down to the end again, we're gonna loop around. Matt Dudley Designer Corals. Right alongside Dr. Fraggett, Coral King, the self-proclaimed king of corals. Although I don't see a crown, so I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to respect. More cool stuff. Again, the meats. Again, I know you guys aren't, well, you'll probably see B-roll and stuff, but the meat corals have just exploded the last couple of years in popularity. And, and no, no doubt why. I mean, the things are just so awesome looking. All right, got Reef Design, another amazing vendor here. They got some clams in the tank, some more meats, big um, uh, flower pots back there, some gonoporia, some beautiful anemones. Again, it's Sunday. Prices are starting to slash. This, this is what, this is what I want to show you guys. Deals are being had, so it's worth coming both days. Come day one to pick that showpiece before it's gone. Come day two for the deals. <laughs> All right, so now we're getting down Top Shelf Aquatics. We, we visited their retail side. Now we're at their coral side. One of the biggest men in the industry right here, Mr. Blaine Boone, one of my most favorite people, best hugger in the business. Top Shelf Aquatics bringing all their fire. This is something cool and new. Mystery corals. In a black bag, you don't know what you're getting. $40 SPS, 30 for LPS, and then they got 20, 25. Give the money, all kinds of value in there. What did you have? You had somebody yesterday get like a $700 coral? There's still a $700 coral right here, a Rocky Balboa frag. I had LPS, I had Monty's, they bought all of them so far. Um, we did about 400 yesterday, we packed 420 this morning, so we got about that much left. We also have a bunch in our other booth, definitely come check us out. You can't lose at that. $40 you can't, you can't. Frags, Absolutely $700 not. Frag. No. But this, this is the kind of stuff that happens at these shows. Unique, interesting ideas. That's such a cool idea. Top Shelf, super cool company. Another local company here. If you're down here visiting, be sure to get out and check out their store. Have a cool retail store. If you're lucky enough to get a farm tour, maybe if they're doing something, you just see an unbelievable sneak peek. And these are cool too. So these are fixtures you can grow corals on. They don't have any in here, but you put this in the tank and you can actually put like a coral like in its mouth or in this little cup or on top of its head and let the coral grow and encrust over them. Just adds a cool, unique piece of individuality to your tank, so. All right, moving down, other side, Living, around, Living Reef Orlando, another local vendor, huge booth, tons of corals. They got their Ecotech and their um, Neptune Systems gear here too. So again, you're looking for coral, there is no shortage of it here. Beautiful stuff from these guys all day long. Fluval, a name you've probably heard of for years, canister filters. I still remember my first Fluval canister filter in my 55 gallon 30 years ago. So company that's been in this industry forever, knows constantly innovative, constantly refining, making good quality filtration, tanks, lights, substrate. I mean, you guys pretty much dabble in all of it at this point, right? Yep. So there you go. All right, reef to reef. Reef to Reef, if you don't know who Reef to Reef is, Reef to Reef, they are a forum. And you might say to yourself, man, who uses a forum still? A ton of people. Reef to Reef is probably one of the largest and popular, or the largest and most popular forum in our industry. Um, I, I don't have the stats on how many users, but tens of thousands of users a day going through that site. The really unique part to Reef to Reef that you don't capture so well in social media, such as Facebook and whatnot, is the fact that you have good archived build threads. You have the history of somebody's tank. You have the history of a DIY project. Go over, sign up. The owners, all the people that work behind the scenes at Reef to Reef are just amazing. And one of the most generous companies here, on top of the Reef of Palooza raffle, Reef to Reef does their own private raffle with tons of stuff. And it's always a good time. Always a ton of fun. Super nice people. Dan down in the booth there. Dan, you'll always see Dan. You'll see Bruce. You'll see David. Great, great team here. Always stop by and say hi to these guys. So 
All right, we're moving down Aqua FX. You heard me talk about these guys all the time, the Cadillac of RODI units, in my opinion. What I use personally, engineered, thought out, designed to be high flow, low waste, easy to use, easy to maintain, um, just a system that is thought through from end to end from smart systems that pre-purge themselves down to basic systems. They are truly the bar to meet when it comes to RODI units, in my opinion. Great people to work with, always good to see them at shows, answer a ton of questions. I, you know, One of the, the people that work here, Jeremy, I mentioned something about going through one filter too quickly and he's like oh you need a five gallon bucket with this in it and run your line through that and so i went home did what he said game changer like you know got extended the life of my media by weeks so just awesome people to share knowledge with them and stuff so always good to see these guys here good to see you all right, so now we're down to the Elos America booth. So Elos has several different brands under their umbrella. This is the Aqua Rocher. They're reef rock structures. So they come in very different, either pre-built structures or smaller pieces for you to build your structures. You can kind of combine them at all, but they're modular pieces. So you can kind of see like a ball and socket set up to let these things kind of connect and sit in. Just very unique because one of the biggest problems that you have when you're aquascaping, especially if you're new to this hobby, is how to put it all together. Companies are thinking more and more about how this stuff interlocks, how these pieces fit together. And it's just super cool to like see it thawed out that you can come in and you know kind of play and fit. I don't have to glue that. I can know that I don't like that there. And then, you know, try it somewhere else. Really cool to see. Good, you know, that you guys keep innovating and thinking about this stuff. So love it, love it stuff. So also in the booth coming down. They have their GNC lightings. This light uh, I just picked up last year. I absolutely love it. No fans, silent light, giant heat sink. Very cool design. The colors are beautiful. Um, the system and the app for it are really well designed and the price point's amazing. They do have a, a bar system for a mounting system, uh, which you can see up above the lights on the hanging system that comes with it. But they do make an optional acrylic bar hanging system, uh, which is what I use over a cube tank and just really great. So these are super cool and they're really interesting because they come in these little glass vials that have the tips that break off to make them individual dosable kits. So it kind of takes some of the, the thought process out of what you're doing with them. Really interesting, um, an idea concept and you can really kind of build out a maintenance plan with these guys or a dosing plan to kind of keep and maintain your tank beautifully. So really good stuff. The other product that they offer, which is really cool, is the Marine Pure Blocks. They have the gems, the, bio, um, the blocks, the big, big blocks, the balls, all kinds of different stuff. What this stuff does is it basically becomes a condominium for bacteria and essential nutrients to live in and cultivate. If you can see, and you probably, you get enough close here, you can see how porous it is. All these little tiny holes, the square footage of this little tiny block, which is in the side of my hand is probably, I don't know, if you were to flatten this out and actually do surface area, 910 square feet of surface area available for stuff to grab onto. So really, really an amazing way to maximize the amount of space that um, beneficial bacteria and stuff can grow, live and thrive in your tank by putting these in your sump. So highly recommend you use these. And another good thing with these is if you're gonna take a tank, always good to have some of these in there. If you wanna start a second tank, you pull these guys out of your sump, you precede your new tank with the bacteria from these guys and you'll cycle your tank a lot faster than not using anything at all. So even if you're not using them for filtration, throw a couple in there to always have in case you ever have to do something with your tank. And that goes for medicating too. Maybe you need to set up a quick hospital tank. So moving on, so it's super cool. I highly recommend you guys add those to your, your sump either as filtration or as a means to move um, biomedia around too, so. All right guys, here we are in aisle four, I believe. One, two, three, four. Off to my right, your left, is the Two Little Fishies booth. Two Little Fishies is a company that was built and owned and operated by Julian Sprung, one of the OGs of this industry. Um, published books, articles, equipment, you name it. There's something here that he has a part of making in this industry. Um, super nice guy, you can see some of the books here. Uh, he has been, there's the name right there, Mr. Sprung. Um, amazing, he's normally, he's not at the booth right now, but he's normally here. You can come talk to him, get advice from him, super nice guy. Mangroves, he actually grows his own mangroves, and if you're lucky enough to be one of the people to score Julian Sprung Mangrove, it's kind of a, 
a big deal to have one in your tank. So always awesome to see these guys. They always have a super cool booth. I mean, how beautiful would that be to kind of fill up and do something, maybe a, a bigger cube and have that be the centerpiece of your tank. Just start thinking differently. This industry doesn't have to be just water in a box with some rocks and fish and coral. You can do different stuff, so. All right, picking it up, Exotic Aquariums, another coral vendor. Um, no, I can't see their sign. I'm not sure who that is. Top tier, top tier corals there, yep. <laughs> top tier corals there. ME Corals, ME Coral, another cool company we talk to all the time. Hi guys, ME Corals, all their supplements. Coral, they're bringing corals here too, big banner. ME Coral though, they're probably most known for all their supplements and their dosing materials, and the things that they have going on. Coral gel for gluing your frags, uh, media reactors, aminos for polyp extension, your alkalinity, your part one, twos and threes, and all that good stuff. So you always see these guys here, always stop by. Mark's a great guy, I'll give you any information you need to know about taking care of your tank. All right, coming down to, in my opinion, one of the coolest products for the least amount of money in this industry. This industry isn't necessarily always inexpensive, but there are a few companies that make something that's very inexpensive that makes a huge impact to this. And what I'm talking about is a random flow nozzle. These guys right here. This is a giant one to show you what we're talking about, but essentially you can see it attaches to the lock line on your return pump and through a series of these spiral nozzles here, will randomly flow and you can kind of see in this display tank, this pump is on a steady state, but you'll see these wheels move differently because the water will swirl and create a random pattern. It's a very important to many fish and coral to not have a steady pattern. For maximum growth, polyp extension and health, you want that random flow because the ocean isn't static. Again, this is where the tongs we were talking about come from. They're an exclusive, Antonio the owner, uh, designs and creates a lot of these products himself, and then he also partners with reefers to create things too. So you'll see some of your favorite YouTubers have collab products with them. Everything is built and sourced, 3D printed by him in-house design. Just super cool stuff, super nice guy. Again, this is the guy. This is the guy that makes them. Good. You come down to this show, you meet the man who makes it. You're, again, you're not at a you're not at a Walmart shopping. You're talking yep. to the people yep. that are designing and asking the questions. So, Antonio, good to see you as always. Love the stuff. One of hands down the most inexpensive things you'll ever add to your tank to make the biggest impact on your tank. Another fixture at all these shows, North American Coral Labs. Always see them. Very cool logo. Very noticeable logo. Always bring in the fire. Bring in the music. Good time with these guys. Another cool 3D printed thing. Octopus. Aquarium Maintenance Company. This is a company that's probably local down to this area or they wouldn't be here because they're not driving all over the place. They're also selling corals, but they're also a, a coral maintenance company. So if you're looking for aquarium maintenance and you're in this area, come out to the show, be sure to pick up a card, check them out or get some corals from in these very unique and cool uh, booths too. But again, 50% off today, it's Sunday, deals to be had. You come Saturday for the trophy, you come Sunday for the deals. RVA Corals over here. Making our way down, Coral Therapy over here with very cool stands, love it. Wood Boost stuff, again, the giant meat corals. Oh, God, I just love those things. Another beautiful display, another beautiful vendor. Flipping around, I frag it Corals. More deals to be had. How you doing? Good seeing you guys. <laughs> Usually pick these guys up at your local reef store. Great, great magazine. Awesome stuff. Ton of good information in there. If you see one at your store, grab one. Good to see. Perfect corals down here. More stuff, more fire. Everybody coming with the A game, so. Another coral vendor here, big booth, all kinds of cool stuff. Another pile of those meat corals, they're everywhere. Definitely wanna check it out, more deals, five for 100. I love, love, love when people do the package deals, so definitely swing in, check them out. Reef Works here, selling these, you know, so here's something you might get for free or you might see them for sale. Reef Works has them for sale with their logo on it. They're glasses with orange lenses and you might be wondering why. Well, under these blue lights, 
These glasses will filter out that blue light and let you see the true UV reactive color. So putting them on is a very different view. So if you want to know what coral really kind of looks like, get those glasses, come to these shows with those glasses, look at them both ways and make sure the coral really is what you want because under your lighting, things can look different for sure. Good way to get them. So if you don't have a pair, swing by people like ReefWorks, pick them up. You definitely want them when you're at a show. Acrylic habitats, super cool stuff, stuff like this. I suppose you could have it in your house, but this is commercial grade kind of stuff. They're big sumps. Again, we keep talking about display sumps and stuff like that. The fit and the finish, the coloration on these guys, multiple containers, adjustable water levels, probe holders, lines, very cool features, different styles of filtration for these guys. Just super, super cool. You know, and the other thing is too, is you can get a lot of ideas too, because a lot of people in this hobby do DIY stuff. So maybe you want to customize something you already own, or maybe you want to take a hand at building something in your basement. Coming out and seeing these stuff, it's a good, it gives you a good place to start from, gives you some good ideas to think about. So it's super cool to always see these guys. Acrylic Habitats, they're part of um, a larger company. We'll kind of get down here. Tideline, All-in-One Systems, another brand. They have here, they got some new tanks coming out with stands, all wood stands, all-in-one systems, uh, low iron glass, uh, really unique. One of the unique things here is they have a variable nozzle. So for your return pump inside, it has a nozzle that will kind of spin around and that'll kind of help you, um, you know, get random flow there without necessarily using a random flow generator. These are all brands that are all part of the Planet Aquarium's uh, sub-brand, which if we come around to the end cap, We'll see the big tanks, which are the Planet Aquarium tanks featured here. And we'll see one of their big tanks that are set up and we'll talk about what's kind of cool. So you can get these tanks both with internal and external overflow. This is what's called an external overflow. You can see below this, there's nothing here. You're not taking up any additional space. All your equipment's on the back and you're losing less than three inches against your wall by going with that kind of system. Cool to see from behind. Really opens up your tank. You don't have to deal with those dead spaces anymore. Just cool, cool stuff to have. Love to see the Planet Aquarium stuff. Guys make a beautiful, a beautiful tank. Highly recommend if you're looking for one, check with your vendor, your local fish store, see if they carry Planet. Uh, if not, reach out to them. Definitely find something. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right, we're getting closer. Sneaking through. What we got? We got Strictly Fish over here, another coral vendor. Coral vendor with the ironic name, being there's no fish at their booth, but again, frags, five for a hundred. The deals, bulk deals, that's what you want. Check them out, beautiful stuff there. And last but not least, we come up to the last aisle. So the last aisle that's over here is uh, we got Spectrum Brands here. So Spectrum Brands is a wide variety of brands. They're the ones that do your instant ocean ocean crystals, foods, all in one tanks. All kinds of uh, odds and ends. Very cool company, Tetra, Glowfish, Marine Land, Instant Ocean. They're all Spectrum brands. Uh, you'll find this stuff at not only your local fish stores, but your box stores like your Petco's and stuff as well. Uh, easily accessible to many different people in the hobby. Definitely check them out. They've been a staple for many, many years. All right, walking through over here, we got Rogers Reef Food, one of the most interesting booths I've seen yet. So outfits and dancing and laughing and all kinds of good stuff so and the, and the most innovative creation made this year what what's that this is called a solo cup coaster for all you lazy reefers out there get the solo cup you know nobody likes washing dishes get the solo cup in you put this on top of your tank put the solo cup on it it absorbs the salt water and i just reinvented a car coaster i'm taking one of those there you go they're free man they're free so, take as many as you guys so, want well, we'll come back to exactly what that, that is. But from getting kicked out of their house. That's free, free, of charge. free of charge. Cool stuff there. So, yes, innovative product here, Rogers Reef Food. All right, we got Addictive here. Yep, Addictive Corals. More beautiful stuff again. Another nice display, big display tank. They roll in and out. Coming down here, another company that I just saw for the first time here, Luna, right? Luna Reef? Luna, yep. Luna Reef. LunaReef.com, Sumps. ATO water reservoirs. Again, I ran past these the other day. Beautiful, beautifully designed. Again, it keeps coming back to that display sump that people are doing now. Even though I don't have a display sump, I still look at some of the innovative ideas that they're using here, how they're put together, and the price points are amazing. Highly recommend taking a look at these guys. 
fairly new company, right? Under five years? Uh, we've been a sleeper for about five years. It's right. first time coming out direct to customer. Okay, so new company, five years, just first time coming out direct. First time here at Reef Palooza. This is what you get when you come to Reef Palooza. So if you're still coming down, you're making it out, or you're coming next year, check these guys out if they're there. Look at their stuff. Price points are amazing. I mean, for a sump that size, 720, you cannot beat that. I'd, if I wasn't getting on a plane, I'd walk home with that today. So. Be sure to come out, check these guys out. Very cool sump stuff. Ocean Life Aquariums, another coral vendor here. Looking pretty sold out, see? Yep. You guys, you gotta get, get here. You gotta get here. Get here, get here early. Coral Exotics, another vendor. We're getting, we're getting heavy into the corals now. So Daydream Corals with their booth here on the corner. Tank set up. All right, so this is one, if you guys watch Road to Rap at all, you saw me hold up my tiny little micro reef ready tank from PNW Customs. This is one, so a little tiny micro tank came out a few years ago. I believe it came in from China or somewhere. I think it was called tinyaquarium.com or something. And it was fine, it was all right. It was kind of a funny joke, you put it. PNW has taken that idea and turned it into a truly usable, I can't, a micro tank. This is my, I'm gonna, you're, well, as you're looking at this, here comes my whole hand. That's how, that's like a solo cup worth of water. You can have a reef aquarium, and in this tank, we have corals, we have some macro algae. I believe there was a fish in there maybe, or not in this one? There is a goby of some sort? Uh, there's a tiger goby in tiger there. Tiger goby in there, okay, so somewhere in there, there's even a fish. A fully operational sump, a reef capable light, and you can even add an ATO system to this to have a desktop less than sub one gallon tank. And then they have one more that's one size up next to it, that's their small one. Again, super cool, a little bit bigger if you want a little more space. But these guys have truly made, and this is an all in one system instead of having a sump. You guys have really taken it to the next level for having the world's smallest actual usable tank put on your desk have in your house and, and make it so it's not gonna annoy you because I'm gonna tell you, everybody's like, oh, you know, it's just a cup of water every couple days I can pour in or change. You'll forget, I promise you. If you don't have the ATOs and the other things and all that stuff, your tiny tank that you think is so easy is gonna inevitably get neglected. These guys have solved that problem by making micro, micro stuff that you can actually put heaters into. You can actually put ATO systems into. You can put a heater and an ATO in this. this I mean, that's how big that is. Crazy stuff. It even has a line for like your water level. It's just the coolest stuff. Uh, got Harley over here, one of, the owner, not one of the owners. Harley designing stuff. They also have all kinds of cool racks, coral pickers, pointers, whatever you want to call them. All different magnetic racks for side. And they even have, don't you even have a tiny, like little tiny micro rack that goes in these? Yeah, we don't. We do, but we don't have any here. We've got little All the microscapes scapes. too, uh -huh. yeah. So these are pre-built microscapes that fit in these tanks you can order from them. Just super, super cool stuff. I love, love seeing you guys. And you guys have been killing it with this. Thank I've seen so many people walking out with these boxes. So good awesome. talking to you, Harley. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you very Keep much up, for keep it up, out. man. All right, coming down, Tankfuls Cove. 90, oh. 90 gallon drill tank. We got some macros in there. We got some, what are the file fish swimming around? Yep. Bunch of little tiny file fish in there. Super cool. Cool, cool stuff. Some... <clears throat> that's, that's a good problem to have. You're... That's why people got to get here early. Uh, Zepeta Zep Aquatics. Cool here. Some cool clownfish. Nice display tank there. Another small, you get every kind of coral vendor here under the sun, and that's the beauty of Orlando. One of my favorites, Trash Panda. If you don't know the reference to Trash Panda, well, I can't help you there, but it is a Marvel Universe reference, and that's why one of my favorite named companies here always, always bring the fire. You see these guys everywhere, coast to coast at shows. Get yourself a Trash Panda t-shirt and some Trash Panda coral. You won't forget it. Over on this side, we got Reef Aquaculture Specialists, another awesome vendor here. I mean, I, I just, I don't know what more to say about it. We have seen so many amazing vendors here today with coral. I mean, just tank after tank. This was something really cool that they brought too. These guys are really inexpensive, but they're cool mangrove displays. So you get the pot and the mangrove, the whole thing, um, all in a turnkey. 
Great little thing to put on a shelf or something. Awesome, awesome little design. Love, love how people are expanding their art, so. Making our way down. All right, here we are at the WWC booth. Worldwide Corals, local, big farm. You can see we talked about Casper before. Beautiful coral, beautiful booth. Love seeing these guys here. All right, so moving on from WWC, we have Aquatic Gems, another coral vendor. Double booth, look at all the real estate they got here. Tank after tank after tank after tank. I'm gonna keep saying tank until you're done walking. Tank, tank coral, coral tank coral. Huge, huge setup. This is what you find when you come to this show. So absolutely be sure you get here, check it out. Just everything, massive landscapes. Walking down, we got 7F Reef, more fire here. And some cool art with these guys too. See some cool, we keep talking about the art, some awesome macro art here. These are all super close-ups of corals. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Looks so good in your reef room or by your tank. Frame them, $20 per print. Can't go wrong with that. Beautiful stuff. All right, so here we go. Now we're coming to something that I've been looking forward to getting to all time. We're in the Coral View booth, and Coral View hasn't done a booth in a long time. Coral View is now doing a booth because they have their Hydros product. We had talked about GHL, we talked about Neptune System. Hydros is the other big player in this industry. Coral View represents a bunch of different brands as well. As you can see, Abiz is up here, um, Ice Cap, some other brands as well. Uh, all kinds of stuff, Fauna Marine. Uh, but the big thing that we're featuring here today is their hydro system. So we're gonna kinda sneak around here. Hi, sweetheart. This is the hydro system. The hydro system is a really unique, interesting concept and take on the controller because instead of having a single controller brain with multiple points of failure, every device you see here carries its own control brain, allowing you to create a whole big, well, collective, collective, yes. Thank you, Connor. A whole big collective, so if one piece fails or something, another one can take over. Really, really interesting concept. Uh, in rapid amount of times, this was designed and developed in-house by Coral View. Uh, the, one of the developers is actually here walking around. Um, they've worked with several other companies producing stuff originally, but have continued to develop their own stuff. So you can kind of see down here, one of the original lightweight power bars. They're inexpensive, they're Wi-Fi, um, and they work fine, they work perfectly fine. Coral View wasn't satisfied with that. They went back to the drawing board and came out with this big honking XP8. This guy also has command buses in it and has a full brain controller in it as well. So it can be part of that collective. It's not just a dumb module. These modules are all smart modules. Um, down here, you can see kind of the Control X4. One of the interesting things that they do too is they use these heavy BNC connectors. Um, you can run pumps off here. You can run po probes, your zero to 10 volts, uh, drives for different motors. Command bus allows you to daisy chain things together. We have leak detectors, dosers, temp probes, pH probes, individual Wi-Fi plugs, top-off systems, fan solenoids, a controller, but thought with a community in mind. And it's really, really interesting. So, Connor, if you're ever out and about and you see Connor at one of these shows, Connor's, I don't have a mic for you, so I can't talk to you a That's whole lot. But, but if you see Connor, come talk to him. He will give you the whole lowdown on everything that's going on here. Good guy, the whole team's here, like I said. Well, we got one of the actual developers, yep. the owner of Coral Views here. This first booth in a long time, and I'm very excited to see you guys out here. Love it. Thanks, and sir. then this guy, super cool too. We saw a similar one at Saltwater Aquarium with their website. This is, this is the app. This is a giant representation of a giant cell phone, and this is what the app looks like. You can see your outputs, you can see your Wi-Fi devices, your inputs, your different feed modes, all kinds of great information right there for you. So one of the nice things, one of the reasons for these connectors in this case, waterproof, right there. Right, right over the connectors. You're not worried about it, it goes in your sump, nothing else happens. Working down there, you drop something, no worries whatsoever. Another super cool feature. So awesome. Connor, good to see you guys. So happy you're here. Can't wait to see you at the rest of the shows. We'll be hearing more about that for sure. So, all right, coming down around the corner, my good friend Judd and Carob C. Carob C, king of substrates. You guys know we talk about Carob C a lot. We got their rock structures, they got their substrate. Probably the most best known brand name for substrates in the business. When you say Carob C, you know what we're talking about. Over the years, they've continued to innovate and develop 
very cool pieces like these stackable structures that are pre-drilled with rods, allowing you to stack and create these dynamic shapes without having to do any of the work of drilling or cutting or whatever. And they can be stacked in different positions too. It's not just a one set shape. You can really kind of play with them. You get into some other things like some of these flat rocks and these shelves, these big one piece structures. These are all cultivated rocks. And the reason that these are purple is because they're coated with a material that once it goes into the water, releases a bacteria that helps cycle your tank and get things moving faster, as well as giving you that appearance of a mature tank with a coralline structure already in it. So that's something that's very unique to Carib Sea that they've been doing for a long time that's really cool to see. We can see some of their different substrates in here. Uh, where's my favorite? I think that's the pink Fiji maybe. Super. And again, if you're new to this hobby, different substrates for different things. This really fine stuff can blow around, but if you have fish that like to live under the sand, you want something fine. If you don't have that, you can go with something a little more coarse, different colors. Really cool to have options to do that. Carib C2 has their Agra Alive sand. It's reef sand, there. yeah, so that is the pink Fiji. Cycles faster and then comes with a packet of clarifier in every bag as well. So just super cool. These guys are always at every show. Always good to see them. Always good to see their products. Always talk to Judd. Judd's been a good friend of the podcast for years. So check it out. If you haven't explored some of their new opportunities where you can build your shapes. I mean, just look at this cool shelf. Like, look how cool that is really really cool where companies that make something that you're like oh you make rock like what do you do with that this is what you do you think of new and innovative things to do like pre drilling rock and giving you rods to design and create all these new shapes and everything else so hats off to you guys spinning wind baby magflits if you don't know they're magnetic scrapers for your tank so they have tanks for acrylic and glass what happens is the cleaner side goes inside and the magnet goes on the outside and then you can move it from the outside without getting your hand wet while cleaning the inside. So not only do they have like a Velcro type scrubby, but some of their products for glass have blades and then they have a plastic blades for acrylic as well. Great, great product. Big thing is, there's a lot of times when you're moving, it might disconnect. A lot of the floats that you have, the things you have in there will sink to the bottom. Mag float, floats to the top, grab it, stick them together on the glass and go right back about your business. So always, always good to see those guys. Cool stuff here. Don't have to spend much time here, but if you're at the show, you got to get the swag. So we've got the swag booth here represented, volunteers and workers and everybody that makes this show possible. These guys are the guys that are going to make you happy with all the cool swag. So if you're coming out to the show, don't leave the shoe without some cool swag. And that, my friends, is Reefapalooza. So we did a full walkthrough of the show. Raffle and stuff already went on. It does look a little slow, and we do see some people starting to break down, but I told you why. We came here on a Sunday. So happy to spend this day with you. If there's anything in the future you want to see for content, let me know. I'm happy to be doing this with you guys. I look forward to seeing you at the next Road to Wrap and the next Reefapalooza. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. If you came out to the show, I hope you guys had a great show. Stay fishy.